Alrighty, so I haven't done a little video like this in a long time, like a little commentary video. I'm just gonna kinda speak my mind in a sense, but this is gonna be ways that I think we could possibly improve for honor. I just got some random nooks to your gameplay in the back, and if y'all notice it, this is gonna be the gameplay from when I did that spicy little deflect. But yeah, so this is gonna be a short little 10 15 minute video about how to or how I think we could possibly make Frana better or deal with it right now. Just in the current moment in the state of the game. But, uh, yeah. You're gonna hear my voice cut in and out a lot because there's a bunch of noise in the background. I'm going around the house and if it just cuts out, that just means I'm doing another take. So, uh, yeah. Let's get on right into it. Now, one of the ways we can possibly make Frana better, I think, is remove the Ghost Guard bug. Because that has been a bug since the game's launch. And it is even more prevalent now since the CCU. I don't understand why this bug or glitch has been in the game for so fucking long. But for those that don't know, Ghost Guard is where your guard is facing one direction, but it's technically not there. You'll see on your screen that it's there, and that your uh, little shield is there, but the attacks will go through. That's more common now with the CCU than anything, just because of everything being sped up. And everybody having high pain because for some reason the CCU has attracted everyone with high latency. But yeah, it's mainly seen with assassins and other characters that normally fall into the assassin category. Nabushi has a problem with it. Zanhu really has a fucking problem with it. And it's just a bug that needs to be fixed, really. There's really no excuse that it should be in the game this long. And there's going to be a lot of shit in here that people aren't going to like to hear. But I'm sorry, I'm going to be blunt and honest. And if you don't like it. Uh, that that's tough I can't really do anything about that for you but uh, yeah I would just like them to fix the ghost guard because currently it makes assassins unbearable same thing for other characters or just any character in general it makes playing them not fun and, and in some cases just unplayable depending upon the character next is one that I think everybody's gonna like it's remove reflex guard <laughs> Why the fuck is Reflex Guard still a thing in this game now? I really don't get it. Especially now since they want everything to be all attacked based and you got the indicators being hit by 100 milliseconds and then you got Ghost Guard. Just, ugh. It makes no sense that Reflex Guard are in the thing because people say, oh, it's because they're using one hand. Sen still uses one hand and is able to keep his guard up. Like, same thing with Yorm. He can keep his guard up and those weapons way more. Just now... See, uh, reflex guard doesn't really have a place you could keep deflect you just have to make it like a superior block like Valkyrie's little deflect or a Russian counter or whatever it's called I call it a deflect it's basically a deflect just make it like a superior block and lower the damage of it a little bit or just compensate the assassins in some way but uh, yeah reflex guard needs to go I'm pretty sure a lot of people want it to go because it's fucking stupid Reflex Guard is dumb that you constantly have to reset it, but that's about it for that, really. Just remove Reflex Guard, please, Yubi. Uh, the next thing is dealing with frame advantage and disadvantage and dodging out of light chains. That shit needs to be created equally because with the CCU, that shit is not created equally. You got characters like Kensei where you can't dodge out of his light chain. You got characters with an infinite chain like Konk where they ignore advantage and disadvantage. And then they have Warmonger that just has insane amounts of fucking frame advantage throughout everything. And then you have those that have, like, nothing. No frame advantage at all or no disadvantage at all. It just needs to be more consistent. Because if they're going to implement a system like frame advantage and disadvantage, which I still does not... Which I still think does not belong in a 4v4 game mode. That shit just... It needs to be more consistent. Because it's so inconsistent. Because I think it should only belong in 1v1s. If they're gonna keep it in For Honor, which I don't think it should be long be belong at all in For Honor, because they're trying to make this game like other oh, fighting games, when in reality it's not. Because the art of battle was never designed for this, but remember I can't have opinion in uh, the For Honor community anymore. Just because I play on console, it's as stupid as that sounds, but there are people that think like that. But yeah, for frame advantage and disadvantage, keep it consistent and create it equally. It needs to be created equally. And that's just about it, because it just makes no sense that some have it more than others. And it just puts characters at a big disadvantage. Just make it equal for everyone. We've already lowered the damage for everybody. There's really no fucking variety anymore. Just make it equal for everybody else. And just make it more consistent. 
Next is everybody's favorite, and that's Revenge. Bro. <laughs> revenge needs its whole fucking rework, to be honest. You're supposed to be uninterruptible, but you can get Gar broken out of it. You can get hit stunned out of it. Uh, revenge is a joke now, to be honest. And with, with all this low damage you get, and the fact that they added it to where you can see Revenge now, which is stupid. Your teammates should only be able to see your Revenge, not the enemy. I think that's stupid, because all it does is just make people want to fucking kite you. It's a fighting game. Fight, you know. You're supposed to fight me and not run away. If you want to run away, go play Mirror's Edge. It's probably more your style. But as in a whole, revenge needs to be more consistent. It really does, because that revenge bar now, it just shows how some characters get it faster than others. And just how inconsistent it is. And it just comes back to the consistency of things. It's just, revenge needs to be more consistent and more of a threat. It's not even good at what it's supposed to be used for, and that's stalling. Because it doesn't matter, because you still have things like Oathbreaker that can just melt through it. It just really doesn't matter anymore, because it's a laughing stock, really. But, uh, yeah. They just need to find some way to fix Revenge or make it a threat. Because it's a, it's a joke. Revenge is a joke. <laughs> you know, you get me started on fucking the competitive scene with Revenge. Is, uh, oh my god, that's a whole fucking hour long video I could do, but yeah. Just fix revenge, it needs, it really just needs to be a threat is all. Like, if you just make it a threat, it'll be fine, or make it do what it's supposed to do, because... Even in its fucking description, it lies for about what it does. But yeah, on to the next one. The next way Frona could possibly be made better is, there needs to be a better lag comp system, because... Why is there somebody who can sit at a constant 150 ping and stay in a lobby and cause everyone else to lag? But we have one person on your team or the enemy team that jumps to 60 and they get kicked. For Honor is the only fighting game I know where lag benefits the enemy and hurts you. It's the only fighting game I know that does that. They just need to add a, add a better lag compensation or do something like hell. If you're laggy, make it to where your attacks are slower or make it like a three strike system. To where if you jump above a certain amount of ping three times, you're kicked. Or if you go to the insane, which I've seen, which is more common now ever since this CCU, because I don't know why, every motherfucker who uses their router on a potato fucking has come out for this CCU. If you jump up to like 300 or something, get them out of the game. Just get them out of the game. Because they're just that fucking laggy. And that really shouldn't be a thing. Because there just needs to be... It needs to be a stable internet connection for everyone. And if you jump up high... Just, just kick him out. I'm under. I understand if you need to use a VPN, but, but damn, bro. Like, come on now. Why can a fucker with 150 to 200 ping still stay in the game, but I jump to 40 or 50 and I get kicked? It makes no sense. Now this next one is kind of just a niche thing, really. It's just something I ran into an issue with when playing Breach. I don't know if it's the same in Dominion. I've played a little bit of Dominion, but it deals with the minions, really. I don't get why the minions are solid entities and they can stop your dodges and take away your iframes and all that good stuff. It just doesn't make any sense. Don't even get me started on guard breaking minions. Why is that a thing? I don't get why the little fuckers can fucking body block you and get you killed. And it's just overall nerf the minions, especially in Breach, bro. Those things do more damage than players. And don't even get me started if there's a BP in the middle of the pikeman at the ram. You just have to leave that get to leave that BP there. You can't go in there and fight him. And that man can just push it as far as he wants. But uh, yeah, this is a quick one, really. Just make it to where you can like run through the minions, maybe, or make it to where they don't collide with the uh, with dodges, and make it to where they can't be guard broken. That's what I'd like to see from them. Now this next one's a big one for breach, and it deals with people leaving in the game. Why is it when a motherfucker leaves, I lose XP and steal? Like why? Why is it when one motherfucker leaves, I lose half of my XP and half of my steel? It's like, what the fuck? We should at least get something. If we make the whole team rage quit, at least give us some form of compensation, like an XP ticket to use in the next game or something. Because, goddamn, it really sucks going through a whole 30-minute breach game that was once full of players just to have them all rage quit and you get less XP than a bot game. It really, it's really stupid. And not to mention there's a bug that you can do that people have been exploiting is you stay all the way into the game towards the end, right? And you leave just before it closes out just to say one giant fuck you to the enemy team because there is a chance you will not get any gear, steel, or XP. 
it mainly happens when you see validating uh, servers. And that means you're either not going to get any XP or not get any gear. And that is just something that needs to be fixed. And the, I think it just also comes down to there needs to be a stricter penalty for leaving. Like 15 minutes? Come on now. That's that's very uh, that's very short in the grand scheme of things. And it's just, if you make somebody rage quit and breach, don't lower the XP or the steel. This is why, Yubi. We're in a PvP lobby, not a PvE lobby. And this could also be fixed with having people join uh, second phase, which would fix it, but they're not going to think that far ahead because this is Ubisoft, but ugh, it just sucks to have all that XP and gear taken away from you because I would be a lot higher rep than I am now if it wasn't for this little bug going around or the way it's designed to where you will just lose XP if people leave. I know it happens in Dominion, but it's not as harsh in Dominion just because people join more often. Now this next one deals with tribute. Get rid of tribute, really. That's all I can say, but a lot of those maps in tribute, they look really, really good and they could be used in Dominion maps. Just get rid of tribute and turn those tribute maps into Dominion maps, you know? It could populate Dominion more to make me want to play it more because there are a lot of good maps in the tribute, but tribute's poop. Like, it's bad. It's one of the worst modes in the game. It used to be popular when it came out, but... People don't like it because you actually have to fight, which is weird. Actually, it's kind of pathetic, really, that people don't want to fight in a fighting game. But yeah, that's a short one, really. Just move a bunch of tribute maps over to Dominion or rework them. Because y'all can't use the excuse now that they're low on a budget, apparently. Because they just got a bunch of funding and they're able to release a battle pass and move for honor to PS5. So the excuse that they're on a low budget is out the window. But yeah, just move a bunch of tribute maps over to Dominion. Or rework them for Dominion. Now, this one is dealing with tournaments for PS4. There just needs to be more PS4 tournaments, really. Like, I'm being honest. There just needs to be more official PS4 tournaments because PS4 and console in general is just put in the shade with this game. Like, I'm sorry, all my console players out there, which is the majority of us, like 90% of us, we're in the shade and we're shafted. As much as you don't want to admit it, you are. They don't care about you. They only care about PC. And there just needs to be more consoles, not consoles, tournaments for PS4 and consoles just to get it more recognition. Because competitive in this game is a joke in the esports community. It's a joke. Like, if this game was balanced like Overwatch, we'd be alright somewhat. I'm talking like the way Overwatch is now, not Overwatch in the beginning. Don't fucking at me on that. I hated Roadhog's Hook, but there just needs to be more, I guess you could say, light brought to the tournament scene for... PS4 or just any console in general. Hell, I don't even know if For Honor's on fucking Stadia. <laughs> but yeah, I'm having to do this one in one large take because fucking Stair Factory hates me, so the next one is gonna be a single pick system. Why the hell isn't this in the fucking game yet? Why? Y'all can't even use the excuse. It's like, people would like to play their own hero. No, wah, boo hoo, Siege is the same thing and people are just fucking fine. Just, you'll have to deal with it. That's what it is. You'll have to deal with it. It's doing just fine for Siege. Single pick is doing absolutely wonderful for them. I'm pretty sure everybody will survive. And this one also ties into Siege as well. There needs to be a vote to kick system. Because the last thing, because I've been running this a lot recently. And a lot of people have been telling me they've been running into a lot of throwers in their game. And they can't kick them. Like, you're telling us, Yubi, we're forced to sit in a game with for 30 minutes with a fucking thrower? On, in fucking Breach, we're forced to sit in there for 30 minutes? Like, what the fuck, Yubi? <laughs> and they can just close app and avoid the penalty when they fucking disconnect, like... Because there needs to be a vote to kick system. Because this game's getting pop more popular. Because it's going to PS5, like I said earlier. Y'all can't use the excuse that the game is dead and doesn't get funding anymore because it's coming to the PS5. So what excuse do, do y'all have for me now for that one? But uh, yeah, that's all I really got to say because the video is getting ready to wrap up. This is just something I figured I'd do on the weekend because I'm doing streams. And if y'all saw earlier today, I did play BP. I feel disgusted. It is absolutely disgusting. But uh, yeah. That's really all I got to say for it, to be honest. Because I'm trying to think of things that other people haven't said. But then again, <laughs> I'm fucking on console, right? So people think just because I'm on console, I don't have an opinion, which is the most idiotic thing ever. Like, 
free, you're on console, you have no opinion compared to my fucking 5,000 gigawatt computer that can run at 400 FPS. Whatever the fuck that shit is. At least we don't have to uh, spend $3,000 to replace uh, a component as big as our cell phone, right guys? But, uh, yeah, that's about it. And it's just something I figured I'd just ramble on about, you know, a little weekend ramble. If you want to see something like that, like a weekend ramble where I just talk about random shit and for honor like this, just hell, let me know and I'll do it. With that being said, though, I hope all y'all enjoyed. And uh, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Share this all around because it helps me out. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we're just going to call this a weekend ramble. That's what we're going to do, like Raven's Ramble back in the day. But yeah, that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one.